It's important for PCPs to have an increased understanding of adult ADHD because most PCPs have not received a great deal of training um, in adult ADHD. This is a, an area which has been identified um, during residency that uh, really hasn't um, received a great deal of attention. PCPs receive training in treating other mental health disorders such as depression and anxiety disorders, um, but adult ADHD, in part because it wasn't recognized fully as an adult disorder until 1987 in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual, um, did not uh, bring forward this training and it's an area of weakness. So uh, when we surveyed um, 400 primary care physicians that treat mental uh, patients with mental health disorders, uh, clearly their understanding and comfort treating adults who have either anxiety or depression is far greater than their understanding and comfort in treating adults with ADHD. They also um, tend to refer adults with ADHD out to other healthcare professionals for treatment, and there is a, a general um, lack of comfort in using psychostimulant medicines, such as the methylphenidate or amphetamine compounds, in treating adults. And these are some of the mainstay medications used to treat adults. Patients with adult ADHD will commonly present to primary care physicians for other reasons. They are um, seeing their physician for vague somatic complaints, sometimes gastrointestinal, uh, sometimes a general sense of not being well. Um, ADHD is often not the thing that brings them into these doctor's offices. However, we do know that from the National Comorbidity Survey revisited that the lion's share of adults with ADHD have in fact seen healthcare professionals in the last year and the ADHD was not picked up, the diagnosis was not made. The NCSR shows that um, only about 10% of adults with ADHD are diagnosed and data from a recent um, Medco prescription survey shows that only one in four in fact are treated. So under diagnosis and under treatment is a very big problem. In fact, most primary care physicians don't receive a lot of training um, in how to treat adult ADHD. Child psychiatrists actually are the ones that are trained the best and are most comfortable using the medications most commonly prescribed, which are stimulant medications. Stimulant medications um, are a little bit harder to use because they are controlled substances. The actual piece of paper is necessary when the individual is filling the prescription, and that creates some uncertainty in the physician's office about how these medicines can be handled. In fact, with appropriate understanding and training, physicians uh, can have a good understanding of how to use stimulant medicines and how they can be highly effective and the potential risks and benefits. In fact, pediatricians are somewhat more comfortable than adult PCPs in writing prescriptions for stimulant medications because they've been doing it for a longer period of time for children with ADHD. These medications are um, highly effective, but with appropriate monitoring can be easily prescribed and can be prescribed safely. Non-stimulants can be helpful also in treating adults with ADHD. And the, it is important for the physician to know the risk-benefit profile of these medicines and what is necessary in terms of monitoring patients um, when they are receiving stimulant medications. In fact, our educational program will provide this specific education to help primary care physicians um, manage and treat patients with stimulant medications. <music>